Welcome to the latest setup for the Newman motor. Right now, the batteries are disconnected from the unit. All these batteries have been taken out. I ran it for about 25 hours. And when I took all the batteries out, the voltage of each battery was still 1.2 volts. And according to my battery charger over there, that this thing over there, uh, a lot of the batteries still had more than 25% charge. And some of the good batteries, the more expensive kind like Duracell and Energizer, a lot of those um, were close to 85 or something percent of their total charge. So, so far the, the, well, normally when I take out my batteries and put them in the charger, the vast majority of them are red. But instead, the, the yellow LED showed on it. Now, what I have set up here is a little magnetic. Uh, well, let's say it's like a gear. It has four poles. It's a quadrupole rotor. And right now I've got it magnetically connected to this motor. Uh, so it's magnet in here. Now, if I rotate this two pole magnet by 180 degrees, observe the position of the wing nuts. 180 degrees. 90, 180. Now observe the position of the wing nut. Now, there it is. Now, uh, that was 180 degrees of this thing. Again, now observe the position. Now, I'll zoom back a little bit, try to get it into focus. This is the point of me setting this up here. All right. Okay, now let's take a closer view. Now it was important for me to position the, the quadrupole rotor on this side of the system. All right. Now what we can do, we see that commutator over there. Uh, that commutator will go away at some point. Good view of this. All right, this is a better view. All right now, it's down position. Now, you see what happens. What I'm going to do. Oh, upside down. All right. This plastic disc from the CD case will be attached. On top, I'm going to have to create some space to make this work. This will connect actually to the magnets. I will have some ferromagnetic material glued onto this plastic disc. Now, on this plastic disc, I'm going to attach four of these tubing straps on each side. So one, two, three, four. And on the other side, the same thing. Now what it's going to do is every 90 degrees this rotates, it will switch the circuit. So two of the tubing straps on this side uh, will be connected directly to the other side by a wire around the edge. And the other two tubing straps on this side will be uh, connected to the opposite side on the opposite end. So that will crisscross. Now, this way, I do not have to, uh, I do not spend a lot of money on this. Uh, the magnets by itself, uh, you, could get, you could get it as cheap as $7 on eBay, if you're lucky. Um, I missed one opportunity, so instead I 
uh, paid eleven fifty, which includes shipping. And facts. Um, besides that, um, from Sears, um, the total cost of what I spent is. Why is it so out of focus? There we go. Three thirty-seven. So I have the fasteners, stuff like that. Right. So not even fifteen dollars. Now, um, this plastic disc, um, this already came from a CD tray, uh, um, CD case I bought. So it's really not that expensive. And what it's supposed to do is be able to switch uh, higher voltages using a uh, 28 gauge wire, uh, American wire gauge, um, gauge. So once I've um, got disconnected, I can get two wires going in, connecting to two, um, well, it's two commutators from the battery pack. And from the coil, I get another two commutators. Uh, which will reach the other side and so I won't have to rotate any of my wires and I will have switching going on and my commutator while it's not actually a giant wheel I will have a, a lot of a leeway in how I can get this to operate in fact if I place this entire thing If I put this over here, I do this. This is a, a interim setup. Okay. Wow. Um, when I rotate this over here, you see this position it, it vibrates more so if I wanted let, let's say I had a bunch of wire wrapped around these uh, copper um, tubing straps that are which I'll glue to this plastic disc plastic doesn't conduct electricity it's what I chose plastic so imagine this going back and forth like this adding to the uh, breaking points of the uh, of the commutator now what in Newman's theory You'd have to compensate for the the large back spike with uh, by breaking the commentator more times per second. Now, if I took the wire around these tubing straps, uh, which I'll the wire will I'll actually get from the uh, the ribbon cable like this. This is some of the stray ribbon cab cable I have from older coils. I can wrap it around that after I strip it, and that will give me more segments and the fact that this will also move back and forth I can also adjust to my liking how much of the things are now you see how sometimes this locks you now see that this is the position where it locks so um, another thing to consider is I could get it switched on when it's moving in between these jiggles so to speak because these uh, alignments will tend to occur when the, the poles are at the vertical position. So I can also compensate for that as well. And I don't plan to finish this tonight. Today is April 7th, 2010. And it's 9.17 p.m. Central Standard Time. Alright, thank you.